Hey everyone, welcome back to another Spin Sucks Ask Me Anything. I am Jenny Dietrich. So my friend Katie Robert was making fun of me a couple of days ago and wanted to know what's going on with my video. Look, my eyebrows are on my finger. My lips are on my finger. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a filter set up that makes it look like I'm wearing makeup and I'm not. And it's amazing. So for those of you, I mean, you can do facial hair for men. It's not just for women. You can do all sorts of things. Eyes, lips, eyebrows, facial hair. I'm waiting for wigs. That would be amazing because I'm really tired of looking at myself on Zoom. But that is what I use. And it's amazing because everybody's like, you always look so put together. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> it's a filter. Look, my eyebrows on my finger. So there you go. Anyway, today's question. This is a really good one. Um, hi, everyone. I'd love some opinions on a little issue I'm working through right now. <clears throat> I'm a junior freelance copywriter who wants to start applying to PR firms, but I'm still working on my portfolio website. If someone applied to a position in your firm who had a good resume but no portfolio, would you consider them for the position? Basically, I feel like I need to start applying, but I'm worried it's pointless until I finish my portfolio. Thanks. Do not worry about your portfolio. Don't worry about your portfolio. Don't worry about your portfolio. Oh, and don't worry about your portfolio. Apply for jobs. Because two things. Number one, it's an employee's market. <clears throat> and so there are lots and lots of people who are look who may be looking for jobs or a career switch or whatever it happens to be. And they're just going for it. So I would not let perfection get in the way of progress. Do not worry about your portfolio. The other thing is, for most PR firms, if you're applying for a writing job, you're going to take a writing test. So we always look at a portfolio as something that's been really polished and finished, and it's probably been edited, um, which is great because you're going to work with people who will help you, you know, design and edit and, and polish it and all and make it perfect. But we want to see like the raw talent. So we always give a writing test and every agency I've worked in and every agency I coach gives a writing test <clears throat> and that's to see what kind of raw talent you have. So I would not worry about your portfolio. If you have it as a backup, um, great, but it's not going to determine whether or not you get an interview or a job. So you will actually be able to talk through your talent, what, what skills you have, and then showcase that through a writing test and you'll be fine. So I would not worry about your portfolio at all. It's great if you have it but it's not necessary for you to have it. So there you go. If you have a question for us, go to spinsucks.com slash spin hyphen sucks hyphen community. That's spinsucks.com slash spin hyphen sucks hyphen community. You can direct message us there. If you don't wanna do something publicly, you can join the community and have fun. You can email, you can tweet, you can do whatever you want. We're all over the internet. So let us know if you have a question. I'll see you next week.